All right, I got a quick little video for everybody today. Um, so this Friday on January 25th, is that right? 26th? Don't know my dates. Uh, there is a new EP coming out that I did not realize it was coming out this soon. For some reason, I thought it was going to be back in March. I must have been confusing that with another release. But Dripping Decay is coming out with a brand new EP called Ripping Remains on Satanic Royalty Records. Uh, and I did her... I, I guess you could call it a review of their full length that came out last year, Festering Grotesqueries. Uh, this ended up being one of my favorite releases to come out last year. I think it was quite a bit of people's one of their favorite releases to come out last year in terms of death metal. Uh, the band is on the U.S. and it was their first full length they released last year. But I knew them from their demo that they put out that I got through Head Split Records called Watching You Rot. Well, I guess after they finished recording their first album... They quickly went in and recorded a brand new EP as well. Uh, so, yeah, nice little, small, little fun thing to be released at the beginning of this year. There are several things coming out within the next couple weeks that I'll be talking about and hopefully be getting in the mail. Um, nothing has shipped yet, though, unfortunately. So this one is one of those things that I did pre-order. So uh, slow, going to be slow going in terms of new things that I'll show on here just because I haven't ordered whole lot as everybody knows I'm slowing down on that so yeah it's uh six tracks a little over 17 minute long um the final track is a cover from the band Halloween which is a heavy metal band out of Detroit not to be confused with Halloween uh their song Trick or Treat and uh so that, I guess that doesn't technically count as new music uh but every other track for the most part this sounds like a thrashier grindier style of Dripping Decay um, that murky, muddy, phlegmy, dirgy death metal that you were used to hearing on their first release uh, it seems to have kind of diminished a little bit on this EP. And again, it, it's just a little thrashier sound, a more crunchier sounding production. Um, but still having some of that obvious stripping decay sound from their, from their full length. Uh, but I've noticed that this is, like I said, more of in the vein of the, like the death grindier sound. Um, definitely death metal still there for sure. I hear a lot of uh, autopsy worship on this, and I definitely have um, some hinkling uh, or some little bit of littering of sound of repulsion and and uh, terrorizer and even molder. Like so, there's kind of a blend of of grindcore death metal and then there's those thrashier sounds as well uh the first song the title track ripping remains is is definitely de a death grind feel uh for sure it sounds like a death grind song um like i said crunchier guitars crunchier sounding vocals less murky and muddy sounding in there as, as it was for the full length maybe the flummy and the disgustingness is a little bit less frequent maybe on this this ep it's definitely still there um but it sounds like they decided to go for a little bit more of a, a faster, a little bit more of a grindier sound for this EP, um, which is not bad to say to say the least at all. Uh, Lead to Kill is the third song. Uh, this has like that more of that flummier, disgusting sound that you're used to hearing from Dripping Decay. It's got the buzzsaw guitar, a little bit slower tempo. There's some really good guitar soloing on this track. Uh, it did feel a bit like a, I heard a little bit of autopsy sound on this. Um, and yeah, again, same thing with Worm Ridden Piety, which is the next song. There's a little bit more of that autopsy sound that I'm hearing. Um, definitely in a faster vein, though. Crunchier, thrashier riffs that I really enjoy. That's probably the one thing about this EP that I'm really enjoying a lot is the thrashier riffs that I'm getting on this. Um, but the very last song, <laughs> the, uh, the Trick or Treat cover, we'll get to that in a minute. But I wanted to mention that Oppressive Repulsive, which is the, like, basically the fifth song here the final track as you could say it has a bit of a gore grind feel to it even the vocals kind of sound gore grindy so that that kind of was like oh i like this so if they if they ever made like a straight up gore grind album probably would sound awesome um but that that halloween um yeah trick or treat that song uh, it's interesting i i listened to the original song because i wasn't too familiar with this band or that song I really, really liked it, by the way. So now I'm, I'm going back and listening to their music. Uh, they did a good cover, I will admit. It's, 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 I think they just had fun. Um, so 
that's kind of like the additional bonus that you get for this. But if they had left that off the CP, I totally would have been fine with it too. Um, but it, it's fun. It's different. Uh, they did a good spin on it in regards. Uh, definitely kept up with the Dripping Decay um, moniker that you're used to in terms of their sound. Uh, so it's it's a fun little cover. I was, I was, yeah, I smiled a lot when I listened to it. Uh, will I listen to it every single time? I'm not too sure. I definitely... I don't know. I'm not a huge cover fan. I don't really care a whole lot when bands do covers or anything like that. Typically, if they release like a covers album, I don't buy it. Um, I rarely ever listen to it. I can't tell you the last time I listened to a covers album. Um, I definitely own a few. I will say that. But yeah. Uh, so overall, it's a really good EP. It's fun. It's not reinventing the wheel. There's a little bit of repetitiveness that you're used to hearing with Tripping Decay and their, their full length and then their demo that they've put out. Uh, but it's nice to see that they're just grinding away, no pun intended, for new music and just continuing to release things um, because they are definitely one of the better modern death metal bands out there uh, that came out with the release last year. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what else they do, but I was shocked to see that something came out so soon after. Um, but yeah, it's available on tape, CD, and vinyl. The vinyls look pretty cool, um, pretty cheap, satanic royalty pressed a really nice edition of their record last year so i'm assuming it'll probably be in nice condition i pre-order the cd because like i said scaling back on vinyl this year um but definitely just some fun little thing that's coming out this next friday or this friday i should say because it's this week uh that you should check out um and if you haven't listened to their first full length album definitely do that because it's worthy of your ears especially you're looking for a new death metal band um so, yep, that's all that I have today. Short little short little video. I'm going to come up with the collection update again this week, and then I probably have another review coming because there's a couple of things coming out this weekend that I want to talk about. So, see you guys in the next one. Yeah.